iconic national natural landmark, the La Brea Tar Pits. Why I love shooting videos with the Oud is that we have these amazing conversations where we get to think through entire thought processes and develop an idea from beginning to end. So we shot an entire episode in the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles and we talked about what it'll take to actually come back to Earth from 50 years on Mars and what it'll take to go to the moon, what it'll mean to have children there. We were talking about what happens when people have lived on Mars for 50 years. 50 years and then they came back to planet Earth. Now what? How do they feel about coming back to planet Earth? Well, isn't it all about science first? No, it's about living in a very hard place and then coming back to a planet which has a lot of water, free air, high heat. It's about a lot of these things. So do what they feel like they're coming home? Do they don't feel like coming home? Do they feel like refugees? Do they feel successful? What do they feel? They've been to Mars for decades and now they're back on Earth. What do they try to do? What do you think they'll do? I don't know. Like, first of all, okay, so people live in the listening of others because they don't live in vacuum, except when they're in space, unless you're Mark Watney. Surprise. But you're well, not Mark, Mark Watney. Watney. You just spent six, seven months traveling back to Earth after spending, doesn't matter if it's 10 years or 50, you're back. And it, you probably won't go to Mars again. What do you feel about your home planet? Are you happy to be back? I think it's a huge breakdown for people to be here, to be back here. A long lost continent, you know, why would it be? When you look at people when they're in jail, then one way to survive jail is to choose jail. So you create freedom by choosing jail. Yeah, but what if it's not jail? You traveled to Mars, you chose that, you went through all the hardships. You built a community. You have a community. You have your leaders. You have your, you have your, your new your laws. Own, your own things going on. You have your own little spot you know, in the habitat. Well, so first of all, I think... a community on Mars. If it's I, not just a few people we're talking about. We're it, talking about quite a few people. So I'm coming back from Mars and the first thing I think about is, oh my God, I don't need a spacesuit. Exactly. No spacesuit. So, okay, so <gasps> no spacesuit. I can breathe. I breathe can out. actually breathe. And it's are you afraid of open spaces? Yes. yes and it's are. not recycled air. It's not recycled. It's not smelly. It's, it's not fresh. smelly. You, you smell. All you, of a sudden, suddenly you, you smell. smell. Right? You smell the grass when it's freshly cut. Yeah. And you smell, I don't know, the breeze if it comes from the ocean. All of a sudden you have different smells. You've never had that on Mars. You have animals. You have, have animals. animals. You have people roaming free without spacesuits and they're not being dead at the moment. All these leisure people who have no idea and they're just going for coffees on their daily lives. Do I feel contempt? Or do I feel happy for them? Or I like, I can't believe I'm back. There is no way anyone can get what you've been through. Even so, if it, so, it could have been hard, it yeah. could have been great. I don't know, but no one can understand or get anything from your experience. So you stay with your own group because you come with a group of people, right? Okay, good. So, so you stay with your group. So, so you're a tribe. You're now a tribe. You're now a tribe. Martian came back. Are you refugees? Did you, was this a planned return? Was it planned that we will return as a group from Mars back to Earth? Is it not planned? Are we refugees? Did some catastrophe happen on Mars? Are we running away from Mars? Or perhaps we finished the plan, you know? We said we're gonna mine this and this, you know, iron and this and this magnesium and we're gonna do 150 science experiments and now it's time to pack everything and go back home. Yeah. Are we part of a plan? How now, do you feel about it? Okay, another question. So, let's say we were born on Mars. So you don't know anything else but Mars? You don't know anything else but Mars. Plan. So uh, are you a citizen? Uh, are, you're a citizen of where? Of Mars. But you came back to... You, you so relocated you, from Mars to Earth. Exactly. Instead of relocation between continents, you're relocating between planets. What's the law on Earth for people who... Came back? Who came back. Depends on which continent and which country you come back. You come back with a group of people. And you want to tell Earth people what it was to live on Mars for, you know, decades. What would you do? Would you read them a story? Would you... I don't know, pray with them when you go to their churches, to their synagogues, to their mosques. How are you going to communicate what your tribe has been through on Mars? How are you going to do that? With words, but with words. <laughs> probably picture a lot of media. How, a about, lot of... how about a ceremony for coming back to Earth? What will be in that ceremony? 
How about a ceremony for all the people who didn't make it? That's part of it, I'm sure. Yeah. Remembering the fallen. <laughs> אז מה אנחנו מדברים? קודם כל אני צריכה לבוא לשמור האלה על הכיוון. 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 <laughs> so there's the music that you make on Mars, and, sure. then, and then you want to, you know, celebrate the occasion of coming back to Israel. Israel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs>